Assalamu alaikum and good morning to you all. Uh, I'm Marcel Hamraz, a fresh and proud AUW graduate with a BA in Economics and right now one of the Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Agency Fellows. Um, uh, today I'm, I'm going to talk about how uh, how much progress has been made so far in the in, um, female education in Afghanistan as well as uh, how a good education is really the only key towards positive change there. Uh, well, uh, joining AUW was a miraculous incident for me. Um, after graduating from school, from 12th grade, um, uh, I took this general examination called Conquer Examination uh, to uh, get admission in the university. I got admitted in the fine arts, but that wasn't my field of interest. Uh, so therefore, um, I applied for Indian scholarship uh, because I was in a uh, position when I graduated. Uh, then my father, he's really encouraging and he really wants me to improve and develop further. Uh, he, um, he kept on going to the Ministry of Higher Education to see whether I got selected for the Indian scholarship or not. And one day, there was, uh, he got to discover about AUW in Bangladesh. And he asked me, maybe you can just give it a try and see if you get admission. And I fortunately got admitted to AUW. AUW offered me a five-year life-changing education. I took uh, courses on gender studies, industrialization and urbanization, uh, power identity and resistance, politics, philosophy, and economics courses. Uh, currently, I'm working as a technical coordinator in the General Planning and Policy Directorate of the Ministry of Counter-Narcotics. Um, well, the word technical might sound confusing, uh, basically, what I do is I work w uh, with the director and writing down reports. In fact, a few days back, we were really busy writing a ministerial report, uh, which was really important, collecting information, eight-year report of the different directorates and presenting it uh, to the president's office. Um, and we also help in making sure the data is correct in the reports, and we read and analyze documents, and we give our ideas to the director. Um, we also try to raise the capacity of the staff who are working with us in an indirect way because they're all male. Uh, and uh, in our free time, we try to talk about different sensitive issues that are really not talked about and discussed between men and women. For example, the sexual harassment that happens on the streets of Afghanistan as well as the political issues and so on. Um, Due to the political and security transition of Afghanistan, uh, offices are in a very idle state uh, during the last couple of months. Uh, when we started our job, uh, we didn't have much to do. But I and my other two colleagues and AUW graduates, Fatima Sabri and Marwa Shakib, we didn't just stop there. We started reading the policies, law, and uh, strategies, and we also started helping in capacity building. And uh, beside that, we started researching on how shelter for uh, addicted women really helps them in uh, by training them in different kind of um, vocational skills, such as uh, embroidery, drug weaving, and so on. Um, there has been a lot of changes made since 2001 in Afghanistan. Uh, what I feel is that we need a lot of time to go further and to bring the real change that we want. And the key towards positive change is education. So do you think I would have been the same if I were uneducated and worked in a male-dominated society? Well, of course it's a no. Um, <laughs> studying in AOW with strong women from 13 Asian countries, collaborating with each other, becoming independent and thinking indep independently uh, are the reasons of my confidence and a strength of voice. And now I work with all male colleagues, which itself is breaking the gender segregation taboo. Uh, because people think women can't work with men together in Afghanistan. I help my colleagues, which are all men. Again, people in Afghanistan think that it's men who should help women, but uh, we in the office, we actually help our male colleagues and uh, raise their capacity. Um, also, um, we go and socialize in a place where other female colleagues of us do not go. The ministry uh, has around 500 employees uh, all over Afghanistan, but there are very few female employees. And uh, none of them go to the dining hall to eat together with men. But I and my colleague, we go there and we try to socialize, which is, again, breaking the barriers by the power of our education. 
uh, I therefore believe that emphasis should be put in female education by the government with the help of international community. We got this opportunity and are already part of the positive change in the women's lives in Afghanistan. And uh, my heartfelt thanks goes to AUW uh, for the extraordinary job they do. And I wish more of such opportunities be provided to women so that they show their real capabilities. Thank you.